Well, that's awkward. Right, today we're in a Mark II Ford Focus and in the engine bay there are lots of small black plastic screws that hold down various bits of trim. Now, I know from bitter experience that these screws can be a pain in the neck to remove, but nonetheless there's a certain technique that makes life easier and as soon as I find my screwdriver I'll be more than happy to show you. Screwdriver, where have you got? Come on, you must be around here somewhere. Wait, oh, what are you doing down there? Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, yes. So these are the screws we're talking about. We have a couple here, close to the offside wing. There's one, and there's the other. See those? And then we have various others along the front edge of the car here. One there, one there, 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 and so on. And for good luck, we also have a couple over here, close to the near side wing. And there may even be a few more that I haven't noticed. Now the problem with this type of screw is that when you try and remove it, it just spins endlessly. It doesn't actually come out at all. I'll show you. So I'm turning it now. And if this was any other screw, we'd expect it to come out. But no, it's just spinning. And I could do this all day and all night and into my old age, but it's not gonna work. Luckily, there is a solution. So what we need, in addition to the normal Phillips screwdriver, is a large flat-headed screwdriver. Well, that's convenient. So what we need to do is take the large flat-headed screwdriver and shove it under the screw like so, and then apply some upward pressure. So I'm pushing down the handle of the screwdriver to pull the screw up a bit, see that? And then maintain that pressure, and then grab the ordinary Phillips, and then just undo it, maintaining pressure on the flat-headed screwdriver. And then, with a little bit of work, there we go. The screw comes out. Very nearly anyway. There we are. See? And it's not damaged, so if we want to put it all back together, it's no problem at all. So there you go. Like many things, it's very simple, very quick, and very easy once you know how. And hopefully that tip will save you a bit of time and frustration if you find yourself with a plastic trim screw that just spins on the spot. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe to Car Spire TV. Do me a favor and click like on this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.